Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. For those of you who are new here, my name is Donna. And for those of you not new, thank you so much for coming back and showing me some support. I just love all you guys so very much for clicking on my video and watching it. I know that you don't have to. Uh, today I am doing my Ipsy Glam Bag versus Ipsy Glam Plus Showdown, I guess, in which video I am going to unbag both my $10 subscription and my $25 subscription. So in the pink bag is my $10 subscription service through Ipsy. It is $10 a month and I am an annual member, so I do actually get them for a little bit less than $10 a month, and which means I just get one bag free every single year. Uh, this bag comes with a makeup bag and five sample size items, typically in the bag. Sometimes you do get full size items, so that's cool. And then in this box, you get five to six full size items for $25 and there is no bag. Uh, so this guy I think is trying to compete with BoxyCharm right now, you all know, because you should have seen my BoxyCharm video already and if not, I will go ahead and link it up in the cards for you to see. I am perturbed <laughs> with BoxyCharm and have canceled it, so I will not receive it in August. I will probably also, truth be told, cancel Ipsy because I am tired of subscription boxes for the moment. When I first subscribed to Ipsy, I subscribed to Ipsy because I was brand new to YouTube. I was trying to bring things into my collection to use and also for a reason to film. Now I don't really need it to give me a reason to film. I have all kinds of creative content I can do. It no longer has to be a video for me to have every month because I have other videos I can film. I might continue to keep this bag. It is, it is only, you know, it's only $10 a month. <laughs> so I might continue to keep it. I do donate the bags that I get from these subscriptions and I also will be starting a sample series on my channel and you get samples in this bag so it would be nice to have different samples to bring in that I can use for that sample series. I might also cancel it and then just resubscribe when I find it necessary to resubscribe to it. And this one is $25 a month and you do get like I said five to six items on it. There was a waiting list uh, I think that started last October for this box and it used to come every third one used to come with a bag and they've like you know changed it a lot over the time frame that they've had it enough so that they've decided that they no longer are offering bags with it whatsoever uh, but it does come with five to six full-size items and typically the items are last last month the items were not amazing I mean there was one or two items in it that were pretty great but it also came with like ipsy branded items that I don't think it should have come with if I'm being honest like we're paying big bucks for name brand stuff so to speak but it's not a bad box I just have so much right now and I'm really just trying to use it. So bringing more and more full size items into my collection is not something that I want to continue to do it, do through subscription boxes. In addition to that, unless it's for, you know, I do use some of the product for like giveaways and whatnot, but I don't want to bring full size product into my collection anymore unless it's something I've chosen to bring into my collection. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to jump into our $10 a month. This is the $10 a month subscription from Ipsy that comes with the makeup bag. I do love this. <laughs> this is weird. I did go ahead and open this bag so that I could get into it rather easily. Oh, I do not remember what I was going to say before I started getting off on a tangent about opening the bag and filling the weird stuff in the bag. So I'm just going to move on into it. But this bag came with two items outside the bag. So first we have, oh, this is what I was going to say. 
I do love getting this Ipsy in particular because I get all kinds of face masks in this Ipsy. And I love it when you get face masks in this Ipsy because you actually therefore get six items because the face masks come with two face masks. That, so you get a set and they're full size. So you automatically know if you have a face mask that you're getting six items and you're getting two, two of them at least are full size items because they're two full size face masks. And lo and behold, I got face masks in here. I did get two, it looks like mid flower hyaluronic acid moisturizing masks. And this is what they look like. I have never heard of this brand before, this mid flower brand before, but it does say hyaluronic acid moisturizing mask revitalizes your skin with intense long lasting hydration and plumps fine lines and diminishes wrinkles. Everybody can use that. So I'm super excited to have those. And it also came with this outside of the bag, which is another reason I love this subscription, is a brush. This is the Firma 204 brush, and it appears to be a nice, like, maybe packing and blending brush. I love the shape of brush that this has. If you guys can tell, it is like a nice, thin brush. It's kind of flat, but still fluffy. I, I really love these kind of brushes. I love these kind of brushes for going deep into my crease and like using it also to blend up because you can go straight on into your crease this way and then flip it and blend it out into your crease as well. I also like them for packing color onto my eyes. So I will get some use out of that for sure. If I can get it back in the package, that would be super. So now we're going to look at the bag, and I actually really kind of like this bag. This is a cute bag. It's got leaves all over it. Leaves? Leaves. <laughs> it's got leaves all over it. It does have, like, a nice coral core color, so the, the background color of it is coral. The zipper is coral. The zipper tie thingy is coral, and it's just a coral, like, round rubber like zipper pull and it says ipsy on it and you open it up and it is coral on the inside as well and the card that typically comes with the rest of the products but we did get two products on the outside of the bag is just their theme card and it is dive in is what it says it says summer is in full swing let's soak it up uh, with dewy skin beach babe waves and shimmering bulletproof makeup looks guaranteed to keep those chill poolside vibes going all month long and this is what the card looks like can you guys even see that yeah uh, what I do like that Ipsy has been doing lately is putting information about all of its items on the card. And so for the moisturizing masks, it says merging cutting edge technology with ancient practices of using flower water in skincare mid flower creates products that are both natural and effective. This 100% biodegradable mask delivers 24 hours of hydration, hydration while plumping your skin and smoothing its texture. I love that it's 100% biodegradable. That's amazing. The Pharma Beauty 204 Wide Blender Brush on the hunt for quality brushes? Look no further. All of Pharma Beauty's fab tools are skillfully handcrafted by Japanese artisans. The brush has ultra soft wide bristles, which means it's ideal for applying shadow evenly and effortlessly with zero streaks and smudges. I do love that brush. I love it. All right, the next thing in here is by the brand Pacifica. I have had Pacifica items before that I have not been super impressed with, but this is a really decent size. This is a bronzed rose, rose and coconut infused blush and bronzer. Nice. So let's open that up. Oh, this is neat. There is a mirror on one side of the packaging and then the blush and bronzer on the other. This bronzer looks really kind of orange, actually. It reminds me of like orange sherbet. <laughs> but it might be a decent color. The blush is really pretty. I do like the blush a lot. Uh, can you guys really tell? Yeah. So I am not mad at this. I feel like this is probably full size as well. So that's exciting. I do love me some blush and bronzer. I'm not mad at that product at all. 
There's 0.28 ounces of product. I feel like that's full size. Award-winning Pacifica is a brand that nurtures a passion for natural beauty with vegan and cruelty-free products. These blendable br blushes and bronzers made just for Ipsy will give you a ki sun-kissed look and rosy sheen in seconds, plus the compact has a handy mirror on the back. So I, I won't be able to tell you if it's full size or not because if it was made just for Ipsy, it's not for sale anywhere else. Uh, the next thing I find in here is the uh, What's the Tea eyeshadow by The Balm. And the color of this eyeshadow is I'm not sure. Ooh, that's pretty. Can you guys see that? It's a really pretty like lavender duochrome with like a nice gold pinky shift to it. Oh man, that looks so pretty. I would even use that as a highlighter, I think. Uh, the shade is Ice Tea. Ice Tea Eyeshadow Mini. So the packaging on the balm stuff is so cute all the time. That is the packaging of that. And then you open it up and that is the eyeshadow. God, I just love that. That is so pretty. And this says, aside from cool creative packaging that screams girl power, the Balm's known for quick fix products that are easy on your wallet. This shade is a versatile shimmery lavender that lasts for hours and can be worn wet or dry all over the lids or as an eyeliner when wet. So there's that. And then I, the last thing in the bag is this. It is the Ciate Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. This looks interesting. That is what that one looks like. Do you guys see those little balls in there? Those little bubbles? Mmm, it totally smells like watermelon. Yes. Um, this says, the British beauty brand Ciate is known for creative, unexpected products that encourage you to flaunt your unique beauty. To hydrate, refresh, and prep your skin for makeup, smooth on this watermelon extract and infused primer. It'll boost your glow and help your makeup last longer. I accidentally got some on my fingers. I will tell you, it's a really cooling and kind of watery feeling. I, I, I do feel it to be a little bit tacky, though, so if you're not into sticky stuff on your skin, that probably won't be your friend. But I'm excited to try these things. Super excited to try these things, and it appears I got, like, with the masks, the blush and bronzer, bronzer, and the, I mean, realistically, let's think about it, I got two masks, I got a blush and a bronzer, I got a brush, and all five of those things I feel like are full size, right, and then I got an eyeshadow and a primer, so I got seven items in this bag, I cannot be mad at that. I cannot. So let's dive into this guy real quick. This is the five to six full size items for $25 from Ipsy. And when you open up this box, this is what you see. They do use blue foam instead of the black foam like BoxyCharm. Um, and it says, and their boxes always say, don't be pretty like them, be pretty like you, which I think is so cute. And it looks like their theme is also dive in, right? And when you open this up, this does give you information on the things that are in your box. So this is what you see in my box when you open it up. This is all you see. It does appear that I have six items in here today, which is so exciting. Um, this is actually exciting to me. This is the Pixie by Petra um, Skin Treats Glow Mist, and I got a sample size of this in my regular Ipsy bag one time and absolutely fell in love with it. I'm super glad to have a spray version of it, and this value is $15. So it says, step up your summer glow with this lightweight mist. It's formulated with 13 natural essential oils like rose flower and lavender, aloe vera and fruit extracts to set your makeup, hydrate, protect, and give your skin a gorgeous dewy finish. I love this product by Pixie. So I'm super excited to see that in my bag. Even though it's technically a drugstore item because Pixie is sold at Target, 
Um, I don't care. I like it a lot. And the next item is this, which is exciting. This is Thrive Cosmetics uh, Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. This is what the packaging looks like for that guy. And it is in the color Brin, which is rich black. And this is the mascara. I'm not going to open it up. I do have quite a few mascaras going right now. So I'm trying not to open up a mascara unless I'm absolutely going to use it for the next three months. So what I do love about that is Thrive Cosmetics is an amazing company that it's cosmetics is C-A-U-S-E because they are donating to really amazing causes. This says a single swipe of this volumizing lengthening mascara will help um, make sparse lashes look like extensions, it comes with an innovative comb-shaped wand and as definition, separates lashes and helps prevent clumping. While the formula is infused with orchid, or, orchid, with orchid stem cell complex to stimulate lash growth and soft fibers for dramatic length and lift. And it retails for $24. The next thing in there that I see is this. It is the Go... Go Go Tint by Benefit Cosmetics, and this is a bright cherry tinted lip and cheek stain. I have found that I have had lip and cheek stains from Benefit before, and I just don't use them. I don't know why, it's just weird to me, but this is it. I kind of love this bottle, that is so cute. I think the reason why I don't use them is because they come like this like nail polish and it just feels weird applying it for me this bottle is so cute can you guys see the detail on this bottle so cute so this retails for thirty dollars it might go into a giveaway because i'm not sure about that item but it says san francisco based benefit cosmetics is beloved for their creative and innovative products a little thicker and creamier in texture then the Colt Fave Benetint, this bright cherry red lip and cheek stain goes on sheer but can build up for a bold pop of color, which is cool and exciting. Again, not so certain I will use that. I've had items like that before and I just don't use them because they're just kind of weird to me. So I have six items in this box. Did I order this? I'll have to check, but so my box says that I have this Gold Fadden MD Bright Eyes Dark Circle Radiance Concentrate, and this is what it looks like. It's kind of a hard box to see because it is bright green, but this guy looks like this. I don't know if this is full size. It might be. I mean, it is an eye cream, and eye creams tend to be smaller. It says its value is $55. That must be full size. This eye cream goes straight to the root of your under eye issues because there's only so much concealer can hide. Formulated with rice bran extract, soy peptide, organic red tea, and arnica. It hydrates and helps reduce the appearance of dark circles, puffiness, and fine lines. Plus, it absorbs super fast, so you can apply your makeup ASAP, and it retails for $55. Yep. And the last thing, well, not the last thing. I don't know where this came from, though. The next thing I have in here is this Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. I know that there were a couple of shades of this going around. This is what it looks like. I'm actually kind of excited for this because I have been wanting to pick up a Huda Beauty highlighting palette for a while. This one is in Bronzed Sands, and this is what it looks like. You guys, that is gorgeous. That is so gorgeous, but I feel like it's so dark. I feel like it's dark. Ooh, it's kind of wet. What's up with that? We are head over heels for anything this beauty influencer turned makeup maven creates with this mix of one creamy and three pressed powder pearlescent highlighters. This palette has everything you need to customize your glow. That's why one of these is a cream. I'm not sure which one, though. Okay, so there's um, like instructions up here and it says 
prep apply Barbados as a base to smooth skin and amplify light reflecting pearls this must be our cream here can we see this must be our cream here and then two set it says dab Maldives from cheek to temple to set and bring out a pop then it says sculpt apply Aruba under cheekbones to apply dimension and shape and then flush Sweet Bora Bora on apples of your cheeks for a healthy glow. So it appears that this is like highlight bronze and blush. Very cool. I kind of love this palette. It is really pretty, but it kind of weirds me out that there is that weird like oil oiliness to it. I don't know how this goes in here. I don't know. It kind of weirds me out that it's kind of oily in there. I wonder if it's halfway dried out now that all of its oil seems to be all over the packaging. It's super weird. I'm excited to try it though. I've been wanting to pick up one of these for quite some time so I'm really excited to see it in my box. So this is also in the box. I'm not really quite sure where it came from. And it is the Estate Do Me Baked Highlighting Powder. Maybe I picked it up with points. However, I don't remember doing that. So, let's open this up and look at it. Either way, I got this item came in my box as well. This is what it looks like. It is just a highlighter by Estate, and it's in really cute pink packaging, and I can't get it open. Oh, there we go. And that is it. It looks like just, just a pink, light, pale pink highlighter. I don't know if I'm going to swatch it because I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I may or may not put it into a giveaway. I do have a giveaway coming soon because a, I have these items that I've been keeping for my 500 <laughs> giveaway, which I have been for like ever. So congratulate me on being 500 for a year and not doing a giveaway yet. But also I'm coming up on my two year mark and thought I would definitely get it out there for my two year mark if nothing else. In addition to everything that I got in my boxes, my daughter also got this Ico um, I Do Liquid Eyeliner from her Ipsy box and gave it to me because she didn't want it. So I'm putting it in there with my Ipsy stuff so that I remember to put it into my regular stuff. You guys, I'm not unhappy with Ipsy at all this month. I feel like I got some good stuff with Ipsy. I feel like they way outdid BoxyCharm this this month. I also feel like I even am in love with my little $10 sample bag. Like I think that this even to some extent outdid BoxyCharm this month. Like I'm just really depressed with BoxyCharm if I'm being honest. But I'm really super happy with the Ipsy stuff that I received this month. And whether I cancel this or not, I do have a couple more months of Ipsy left. Actually, I think I have one more month of Ipsy left. It has to be canceled by September 1. So we're still going to see another unboxing, um, unbagging of Ipsy next month. And I will let you know then whether I've decided to cancel them or keep them. Either way, I will be doing a sample series with a lot of what I get in the regulatory Ipsy um, bags and we'll probably re-sign up for the regular Ipsy bags at some point. Right now I just feel like it's overkill. Like, God, got so much going on in my makeup room right now. It's insane. So, I hope that you guys liked this video. Thank you guys so much for coming and visiting me and watching my video. If you do get Ipsy, I'd be interested to hear what you got in your box this month in your Ipsy box or your Ipsy bag. Let me know down in the comments section. Hopefully you like this video enough that you're considering giving it a big thumbs up. I also hope that you liked it or you liked me enough that you're considering subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube fam here, and I would also love to see you in the comment section. Thanks so much for visiting me today, you guys, and until next time, bye guys.